If you or someone that you know is grieving the death of a loved one, then this video is for you. In the summer of 2017, my family went through probably the hardest challenge that we've ever faced together as a family, and that was the death of my wife's little brother, my brother-in-law. And my goal here on this channel is to help and to encourage Christians to truly live this life that we've been given, to not necessarily wait until we get to heaven to truly live. We can do that here and we can do that now, even in the middle of our mess, of our challenges, of our hurts and our pains and the struggles of things that we face living in this world, um, those challenges come and this channel is geared to help you guys to live well, to live the life that God has designed for you to live even when those things come up, even when the hardship shows its ugly face at you and it tries to get you out of the, the will of God. And so I feel that this is an appropriate thing to be teaching on, to be encouraging you guys in, because we all experience death on some degree, at some level, at some point of time, we all face these things. In my family particularly, we faced some, some real rough roads and some real challenges when we came up against this experience. And because we handled it properly, or at least we did a few things right, we have come out stronger. And it's not that we're done with the process. It's not that we're through with grieving. We're still experiencing those hardships, but we've gotten stronger over time. We've experienced the comfort and the love of God in the midst of these challenges. And so I wanted to share this story with you guys and to share what we've done to show you guys that Matthew chapter five, verse four, really is true when it says, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. The most important thing I think you can keep in mind is to grieve to God and not grieve away from God. When challenges like this come up, we always have this big why question. We always want to know, well, why did this happen? Or why did God let this happen? Or, you know, all, all these questions concerning, was God really being faithful to us? Does this mean that maybe God's not as good as I thought he was? And the answer to that is, well, yes, God is still good, no matter the circumstances that we face in this life. And this is one of the important things that I think we truly put to work, put to practice in our lives was that when things really got rough and our faith was challenged, we chose, we decided that we would stay faithful to what we knew about God. I thank God for the revelation that I had at that point before he died. The Lord had really been showing me a lot of things about His character and about His love, and I was anchored in those things. And so when this challenge came up, I was still holding on to the truth and the fact that God was good, and He still is good today. It doesn't matter what experiences you have in this life, what challenges come up against you that this world has to throw at you, God is still good, and He will always be good, and He loves you, and He has a plan for you and so we were rooted and we were grounded in the love of God we were we were securely rooted in those things in the truth and the nature of God that he is good that he loves us and that he will never do us harm and that he his intentions are always for us to have life and so those truths that we settled ourselves in prior to the accident helped us grieve toward God and not away from God. So we can't, we can't avoid the challenges that come with living in this world. We can't avoid the challenges that come with losing a loved one. We can't avoid those things. We can't avoid the, mo the emotions or uh, the hardship, the questions that come up even uh, concerning God. We can't avoid those things. And so we might as well just face them and keep ourselves anchored in the love of God and remind ourselves, okay, God's still good. Okay, I can face any circumstance, any situation, as long as I remember that God loves me and that he wants good for me. And it will hold you steady and it will carry you through those storms. It will carry you through those challenges. So in this time, it's extremely important that you keep in mind and remind yourself always that God is still good. It does not matter what you face. It does not matter what you're feeling or what you're experiencing. God does not change and he is good and he is love and he means well for you. So one of the things that I feel that we did well as a family and that we processed all of this well 
uh, is that we, uh, we, we stayed together as a family, as a unit, my family and my wife's family. We processed this and grieved together as a family. And I'm not, I know that not everybody has that option. Everybody's got different family dynamics and different family situations and issues that you may come up against. However, if there is any way that you can either, that you can reconcile relationships in the family or you can at least find somebody that is strong and that it is sturdy in their faith to help you grieve through that process and to walk with you, I think that is extremely important. As a family, we, we got together for months after the accident and we would spend evenings just listening to worship music and just praying and spending time in God's presence. And I think that made a world of difference. We grieved as a family together and we embraced the things that came with the grieving process, the emotions that would come, waves of tears, and all these random little things that would remind us of Dakota. And you know, we, we, might, we might be sitting at lunch, everybody's laughing and having a good time, and then we happen to remember something about him or we see something that reminds us of him and then we just start crying. That's okay. We don't have to be afraid of our emotions. God gave us emotions. He gave us the ability to process and to work through these challenges and these situations. We just have to be willing to let them come but not control us. As long as we let them come and we can process through those and we can express those things in a healthy way, then we can let them come, let them do what they need to do so that we can process and move forward. See, it's not making us fall backwards. It's not making us get locked up in, inside. It's just allowing us to process what has happened and to, to move forward. Life is never the same after this. Life was, is still not the same. As, as I was saying, we're not out of grief at this point and it's been four years almost. So we would get together and we would spend some time in prayer. And one other thing that we do that we just did this past weekend is we would celebrate his birthday together. On his birthday every year we get together and we have his favorite meals, macaroni and chicken nuggets and pie and all this stuff. We like to get together and we like to eat the things that he loved to eat. And we laugh and we joke and we talk about Dakota. We, we talk, we, we tell stories about the things that he, he did and how he was, uh, he was just a fun guy to be around. And then every year we also blow up balloons and we'll write messages either on the balloons or on a piece of paper and we'll tie it to the string and we'll go we'll go outside and we'll we'll let those balloons go like we're just sending a message to him we're recognizing that he's he's still technically alive in fact he's more alive now than he was before he's more alive than any of us are and so we are just reaching out to him i don't know if he gets those messages or not but it helps us process those things and we're being a family we're doing these things together and we're just remembering dakota and we're remembering all the wonderful memories that we have of him so this again was just just one part of an example of us and our experience with grief and with mourning and how that Matthew 5, 4 really does prove to be true when we grieve toward God, when we allow those challenges to push us to God and not away from Him, then we really can be comforted by the Holy Spirit and by God's presence and we can come out on the other side stronger and better and more together as a family as long as we mourn together as a family. And we remember that God is still good. Even in the middle of all my questions, all my emotions, and all my experiences, God is still good and I'm going to hang on to that fact because it's solid and it's anchored and it's truth and I know that. And so I'm going to hang on to that and it's gonna carry me through. And life isn't ever the same afterwards, but it does get better. It hurts and it's awful, um, but it does get better. So I pray that this was encouraging to you. I may do a few more videos on some other aspects as to how we processed this experience. Um, but I pray that this helps you, that in some way, this can give you some encouragement, some incentive to keep moving forward, some light at the end of this tunnel. It's a very long tunnel and it's a very dark tunnel, but there is some light there. There is some hope as long as we hang on to the truths that we know about God. And so you guys are blessed, you are loved, and you have a purpose.